In this video on geometry of straight lines grade 9, we're going to have a look at certain known angle sizes and properties of angles. Geometry consists of points and these points can be connected by lines. Two lines connected form an angle and many of these lines connected will form polygons. Because at one point we can have more than one angle, it is important to know how to write down which angle you are working with. For angles, there are different notations you can use. If we want to talk about this angle, we can for instance say this is angle A1, which says that it is angle number 1 at point A. Or we can choose to describe how it is formed. So it's from D to A to B, so written down, that will be angle D, A, B. It is very important to just realize that you can never talk about angle 1 or angle 2. You need to add at which point that angle has been formed. In grade 8, we had a look at the properties of angles. And we started off focusing on specific angle sizes. The first of these was a right angle. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. It can be one angle of 90 or two or more angles put together forming 90 degrees. Two angles that add up to 90 degrees can also be called complementary angles. So if we know that the one angle is 55 degrees, we can determine the other angle by taking 90 degrees and subtracting the 55. Therefore, the other angle has to be 35 degrees, so that added up, they form 90. Next up, we had a look at angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. And two angles that add up to 180 are called supplementary angles. Next, we also had a look at angles that form a revolution. These angles always add up to 360 degrees. And the final property we had a look at was when two straight lines intersect. In this case, the vertically opposite angles will always be equal in size. If you want to have a look at these four properties in more depth, you can follow the link in the description to the grade 8 videos. For now, we are going to have a look at some examples with all four of these properties. Example 1. Calculate the size of x in the given sketch. Looking at this sketch, we can see that these three angles form a straight line and should therefore add up to 180 degrees. But we are also given that the angle in the middle is exactly 90 degrees. In geometry, it is especially important to always be able to supply a reason for whatever statement you are making. So in this case, if I say x plus 90 plus 50 degrees is equal to 180, the reason I'm going to supply is angles on a straight line. So now I can solve x by subtracting the 90 degrees as well as the 50 degrees on the right hand side. And that means that x is 40 degrees. Example 2. Calculate the value of x. In this case, we have three angles that form a revolution. So, added up, they should equal 360 degrees. So, writing this down, my first angle of 2x plus 10, plus the second one of x plus 45, plus the third one of 110 degrees, should equal 360 degrees. And the reason for this is a revolution. Now we're going to make use of algebra to solve x. 2x plus another x is 3x and when I add up the three constant values on the left I will get a total of 165. Next I'm going to subtract the 165 on the right hand side and that will give me 195. And if I now divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 65 degrees. 
if I now change my x values to 65 degrees, the angle in the bottom right will be 110 degrees. And the angle top left will be 2 times 65, which is 130, plus 10 to get 140 degrees. These three angles added up will give me 360 degrees. Example 3. Calculate the size of x and y in alphabetical order. This alphabetical order forces you to solve x and y in a specific manner. Otherwise, there's probably more than one option to get to x and y. If you start off with angle x, you might notice that it lies on a straight line. But because we don't have the third angle on that line, we cannot solve x yet. Similarly, if we had a look at a different straight line, in this case, we need to determine y before we can calculate x, which means it won't be in alphabetical order. And that is why you had to realize that x, along with the 75, is formed by two straight lines intersecting. This means that these two angles added up is the vertically opposite angle of 140. That is why we can write down that x plus the 75 degrees should equal 140 degrees because they are vertically opposite angles. x will then be 140 degrees minus the 75, which means x is 65 degrees. Now we can go back to our previous straight line saying that y plus x plus 75 should add up to 180 degrees. Or, even easier, we can focus on a new straight line, in this case line TU, and say that y plus the 140 degrees should add up to 180 degrees. And again we need to supply reason, and in this case it will be angles on a straight line. So in this case, 180 minus 140 means that y is 40 degrees. Remember that it happens quite often in geometry that there is more than one way to get to the same answer. As long as you can write down your method systematically and supply geometry reasons for your steps, your method will also be acceptable. In the next video, we'll revise the properties of angles at parallel lines.